This is the Olight Baton 3 EDC flashlight. It delivers a max output of 1200 lumens and 166 meters of beam distance. This thing is tiny, only about 2.5 inches long. Its small size and big power makes it an ideal EDC flashlight. It has a dual direction pocket clip and a flat magnetic tail cap. This gives you so many options for everyday carry. It has an IPX8 waterproof rating, good for continuous immersion in water. So I've laid out everything that comes with your light when you first open it. It's not quite ready to use when you first get your light. The instructions have a couple of things that you need to do. They tell you first to remove this insulating film. It just protects the battery from draining during packaging and shipping and everything. It also tells you to charge your light fully before you turn it on. And you'll see here this, this Baton 3. It has a special charging system and it has a magnetic backing that just grabs the charger. And this plugs into a US, any USB you have. So whether you have a, a laptop or just a wall plug or something like that, it's, it's really, it's one of the coolest things I've ever seen as far as a charging system, that it doesn't take a, a standard battery. It just has a, a really cool like magnetic charging system. So this, this light also comes with this really nice bag. If you plan on keeping your light or giving it as a gift, this is really neat to have. It's just a, something I probably wouldn't use because I'm gonna keep my light in my pocket most of the time or in my backpack or something like that. But if you, I think this is really nice if you're gonna give it as a gift. Or if you have any uh, spare parts that you wanna hang on to, you could just keep them in here, it's labeled. They have the, it's really nice that Olight has this embroidered. And also it comes with a, a lanyard. Now uh, this one's actually really nice. It's kind of hard to see on camera. It feels like a, this really soft rubber. And I'm, I'm not a lanyard person, but if you would like to attach your, a lanyard to your light for, for one reason or another, this actually feels really well made. So I think it's something you might benefit from if you do want to attach your light. I could see if you had a certain piece of gear that you wanted to attach your light to, this would come in really handy. So what I really like about this charging system is that it has a USB connection. I have a little Bluetooth speaker here that has a charging point back here. And I can just plug in my charger to my Bluetooth speaker and charge my light. So I, I really, I'm really liking that feature. I've got a couple wall sockets that I can use also, but this is just really cool. And this thing's gonna start lighting up once it starts getting close to being charged. So this light's really awesome. It has this grip right here that just feels really good. It's it says deep etching, and you'll never, you're never gonna drop this light or worry about it slipping out of your hands. First of all, the light is tiny. You're not, it's not something you're gonna drop ever because of how small it is. It's gonna, you're gonna be able to hold on to it so easy. But this etching is, it's really kind of sharp, but very grippy. I'm taking my fingernail and just kind of going across it, and it has a really awesome feel to it. I just love the Olights because they're all metal. Everything is, is labeled. They've got their brand on everything they use. And they just do such a nice job with their with their etching, with their their machining. And this I'm really excited about this charging system because of how convenient it is. This is also magnetic, so you can actually put this if you want to store it someplace or use it like when you're if you're working and you want to uh, stick this to something, that's what it's made for also. So one of these great features is this really strong magnet that comes on the back of this light. You can just pick up just about anything with it that's steel. What's really neat is you could, basically whatever you're working with, whether it's in your toolbox or in your car, your garage, you can just easily stick this to anything metal while you're working, just to give you a little hand, a little extra hand. That's a really neat feature that they do. This magnet is very strong. You can easily pick up this padlock. So I really appreciate it. They, I've noticed that with their other products that have a magnetic back, they always use a really strong magnet. That's really nice that they do that. So this Baton 3 has many different settings, and there are several light settings for brightness. The highest one is called Turbo. It's 1,200 lumens, and that's the, it's really going to eat your battery, so that one can only be used for little short periods of time. There's high, medium, and low, and then they have a setting called Moon. And that's the very lowest setting that can last for a long, long time. For general use, I think it'd be great. And it also has a, a strobe setting that I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Okay, to access the moon setting, all you have to do is just hold the power button down for just over one second, and it should come on to the lowest setting. Okay, that's your moon setting. That's really low. That's To me, that's about equivalent to a cell phone light. And all we have to do is hold the button down again to go up to the next setting. Okay. And we hold it down again, and it should go up to the next brightest. So these are some very bright settings on this 
Way too bright for this up close. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that moon setting and see how that looks from a distance. It's the very lowest setting. It just barely puts off light for up close. So it's gonna be a nice little general purpose light. Can't really see it at a distance. So I went up to the next setting. Now you can kind of see the distance. That's about seven, eight feet away. You can pick up some light there, but it's pretty bright up close. And there's the next highest setting. Lots of light there, way too much up close. And this is the one of the higher settings. Lots of light for a distance. And there's the turbo mode. I just double clicked it. And that's really bright. Really bright up close. Now I'm going to go to the back down to the low setting. There's the moon setting again. Okay, now let's go to the strobe setting. All I have to do is do a triple tap. That'll get us to the strobe. Okay. That's really bright. Uh, that looks like the strobe mode looks like the turbo like basically a strobe turbo mode. It's really bright. I wouldn't want to be over there uh, looking into that light. So I won't do that too much because it probably hurts. Probably not good on the eyes, even on the computer or, you know, on your screen. So I won't, won't do that too much. So, but yeah, this little light just packs a lot of features. It, is, it has a lot of, um, a lot of settings. And it just, it's a tiny little thing, but it has so many different options, settings, it's got that really neat charging system with the magnetic charger. This little light is just packed with features. I think it's so cool. And this, this finish is really nice. It just has a nice feel to it. Very small light though. Very surprising how small this light is. I thought I would show you real quick the highest settings compared to each one of these. I'm gonna, I have this Olight i5T that I reviewed on a previous video. And I have this Baton 3 that I'm working on this time. And I was just going to go to their high settings and just compare it to each other. So there's the i5T on high. Very bright. Nice bright light. Oh wow. So here's the Baton 3 on high. It, it would blind the heck out of you. This thing is really made to, to really hit some distance. So this thing is just, it's night and day difference on the, on the brightness. I know it's only gonna, it won't stay that bright forever, but just to give you guys a, a quick review on that, it's a pretty amazing little light. It's very powerful for for the size of it. It's basically, it's basically all battery. It's just that's how it is. It's all it's reminds me of a, a hot rod. It's just it's all motor and that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> the battery is about this big inside there. There's just barely enough room for the cap.